Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Sunday. I hope you're having an incredible weekend, spending some time with the family, hanging out, recharging, getting ready for the big week. I know a lot of you are doing the 28 day challenge, which is part of my 90 day action plan. And Sundays are literally for recharging, spending time with the family, um, kind of meditating, if you will, about your business towards the end of the day to try to prepare for your week ahead and make that list of all your highest priorities and just really just get ready to rumble. That's something I like to say a lot, rumble in the jungle, because that's what I feel like I'm doing all day, every day. Just absolutely taking everything as far as I can possibly take it. And that's what I did this week. Uh, Wednesday, I went to Long Island. I spoke at an event. There was about 250 agents there. It was an incredible event. I flew in Tuesday, got to see a little bit of Long Island, went to the boardwalk and all that good stuff. Really nice place. I'd never been there before. I've been to Manhattan many times, but never ventured outside of the big city. So that was a lot of fun to see that. Um, then the event, like I said, was incredible. A lot of energy. Um, and I know that there were some agents in that audience that are going to take what I was preaching and use it to, I don't know, I think there's going to be some real superstars come out of that group. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you're there, thank you so much for the support. So two things happened while I was in New York that I really wasn't expecting to happen. Uh, once I get there, I posted a picture on Instagram of just me saying, hey, I'm in New York. I'm just so you know, blessed and honored to be able to have the ability um, to spread my message, relationships over transactions, and try to help the industry. And one of Ryan Serhant's team saw that I was there. They reached out to me. They wanted to get us together and take some pictures. So that was really cool. But before we did that, uh, my friend Joe Sonona, who actually put the entire event together and has become a close friend, um, he had us set up to go to the NASDAQ building which I had no idea that we were going to the NASDAQ building. He just had us get some tickets to this EXP event. It was kind of like a networking cocktail party kind of thing for EXP. I had no idea it was in the NASDAQ building. I had no idea that EXP was going to be closing out the stock market by ringing that bell at the NASDAQ building. So that was very, very cool to go in that building and uh, see the set where they, where they film everything. Um, and, you know, there's this cocktail party, EXP. You know, I really wasn't expecting much out of it. You know, going into it, I just thought this was going to be a couple of EXP agents. I didn't realize it was going to be all the upper management and CEO and, and everybody else of EXP. So I'm just chilling, you know, at the party. Um, they're bringing hors d'oeuvres around. I'm eating little bitty, you know, chicken tacos. And, you know, there was a little tuna things <laughs> and stuff. And I'm just kind of hanging out, drinking some sparkling water and stuff. And Joe starts to introduce me to a few people. Actually, there was a lady there who recognized me. And uh, she came up, talked for a while. And then she introduced me to the president of EXP Realty, which is different than EXP Holdings. Um, and I talked to him for quite a while, told him my story, what all was going on, exchanged numbers with him. Then Joe introduces me to the big man, Glenn Stanford. Now, I've seen Glenn walking around before I met with him, and I thought... That guy is way too big for me. That guy is, you know, he's he's got a lot going on. There's no way he's going to want to talk to, you know, a coach who isn't even part of EXP and so on and so forth. But Joe introduced me to him, and we just got into this incredible conversation. Um, he was asking me a lot about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and I told him kind of a little bit of the story of how I'm coaching for free, the growth of it, the impact it's made, and the fact that a lot of the bigger coaches are reaching out to me and asking me to stop, <laughs> stop free coaching. Um, and, you know, he, he asks more and he continued to ask questions. And, you know, I continued to ask him questions and we went back and forth. And at the end of the day, I realized how incredible of a human that guy is. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, what he's done in the industry is quite amazing, but um, you know he he introduced me uh, to you know one of the agents under him that actually helped him get it going. He actually said that agent has uh, is responsible for seventy percent of EXP's current agents, which is mind blowing if you think about those numbers. But he introduced me and said, "Hey, you know this guy Ricky is doing." 
to the real estate coaching industry, what we as EXP are doing to the brokerage, real estate brokerage industry. And I thought that was really cool for the CEO of EXP to introduce me and say, hey, this guy is the EXP of real estate coaching. He literally said that I was disrupting. Like he could tell, he could tell by talking to me, the conviction, the passion, what I was doing. He could see the, the, the reasons why I was doing it, um, the motives and, you know, it, it, it was like looking, you know, kind of in a, a, a business person's or entrepreneurial mirror, you know, because he, he saw the same thing that's inside of him, that, that's in his DNA in me. It was kind of like looking at the same same thing going on. And uh, it was just it was just a really interesting moment. Uh, it really was. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. They actually said they might want to get together with me and try to figure out how, you know, we can use my coaching within their company. We'll kind of see where that goes. Who knows? Um, I have all their contacts, so we'll reach out, start the conversations, and see where we go from there. But after that, we did go to Ryan Serhant's open house at one of his developments, which was a very interesting uh, situation just to be there firsthand and to see, you know, in person how everything kind of goes down and, you know, the mood and the tone and, you know, what's what's really going on behind the scenes in New York, um, in the real estate industry. So it was really cool. We got there, tons of people there, of course. Um, we actually ran into Ryan as we were walking in, he was walking in. And so that was really cool. And, uh, just talked to him for a while, uh, got up there. Of course he was busy, you know, this, you know, dealing with all the people up there, but snapped some pictures, talked for a moment. Um, you know, going to try to partner with him to do some things in the future. So you know, really looking forward to just continuing on this journey and uh, trying to, you know, make all the connections that you need, connect the dots to really make a huge impact in the industry. That's what I'm trying to do here. So I think you guys see it. I think if you go back to my older videos and then watch some of my newer videos, I think you'll realize how much better I've gotten at that. I think you'll realize, you know, the growth of, of ZTD and where that's heading. I think that if you watch some of my first speeches compared to some of my most recent speeches, you'll see a huge difference there. And the best is just yet to come. I mean, this whole zero to diamond movement, I wanna call it, um, is just, we're, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. There's so much more work to be done. And uh, you know, I understand that. I'm not letting off the gas. Uh, it's full steam ahead for me. So anyway, just wanted to share this little story of going up there, me and the XP CEO, um, and just kind of my overall experience in New York was unexpected. You know, I knew the event was going to be really incredible. I wasn't expecting to meet some of the people I met up with, so it was really cool. And uh, you know, just had a good time. So anyway. Let me know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Just comment below if you have any questions or, you know, just like I say, anything in the world, just reach out to me. I'm still answering every single DM on Instagram. So I love you guys so much. Till next time, let's go. One, two.